our first question is here a circuit is given and some voltage values are marked as vr is equal to 5 volt vc is equal to 4 sin 2t and we have to find the value of vl you can see vr is the voltage across the resistor vc is the voltage across capacitor and vl is the voltage across inductor and the polarities is also marked here vr and vc is given in the question we need to find the value of vl for solving this you can apply KCL across this junction. Here is a 2 ampere current source and it can deliver a current of 2 ampere. So a 2 ampere will be reaching at this junction. And it is given that Vr is equal to 5 volt. The polarities is also given in the question. So the current flows in this direction. Let us mark it as IR and the current will be flowing through this branch and, will be, and it will be reaching at this junction. A 5 volt across a 5 ohm resistor gives a current of I is equal to V by R that is 5 divided by 5 equal to 1 ampere. So a 1 ampere current will be flowing through this branch. There are two more currents in this circuit. A current IL which is flowing through inductor in this direction because the polarity is given like this in the question. A current IC which is flowing through capacitor in this direction. So the KCL at node gives the algebraic sum of leaving current should be equal to zero. Two ampere is entering, so leaving current in the branch is minus two ampere. Similarly, we can say one ampere is entering, so minus one ampere will be the leaving current. IL and IC are already taken as leaving, so we can write the KCL as minus two minus one plus IC plus IL is equal to zero. It is given that the voltage across the capacitor is 4 sin 2t. Then the current through the capacitor can be written as IC is equal to C dVc by dt. It is the equivalent current voltage relation in capacitor. We know the value of the capacitor and the capacitor voltage so that we can write IC is equal to capacitance into dVc by dt. The capacitance value is 1 farad and VC value is 4 sin 2t. The derivative of 4 sin 2t gives 8, 8 cos 2t. So IC value will be 1 into 8 cos 2t that is 8 cos 2t. So the KCL equation can be modified as minus 1 minus 2 gives minus 3 plus IL plus IC and we have found the value of IC. So we can write it as minus 3 plus IL plus 8 cos 2t equal to 0. From this modified KCL, we can write the value of IL as IL is equal to minus 8 cos 2t plus 3. We need to find VL which is the voltage across the inductor. The voltage current relationship in inductor is VL is equal to L into DI by DT, DI by DT where I is current through the inductor. That is VL is equal to L into derivative of IL. Inductance value is equal to 2 Henry, 2 Henry into derivative of IL. We have calculated the value of IL that is IL is equal to minus 8 cos 2t plus 3. The derivative of IL gives 16 sin 2t and the inductance value is 2 Henry. So 2 into 16 sin 2t gives the inductor voltage that is 32 sin 2t. So the inductor voltage value is 32 sin 2t. So our next question is ready. You can see the circuit and we need to find the value of Vx. Vx is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor. So first of all mark the non voltages and currents. A 12 volt is here and it appears across a 4 ohm resistor because 4 ohm is parallel to 12 volt. So 12 volt in 4 ohm gives a current of 12 divided by 4 that is equal to 3 ampere through this branch. For finding Vx take a loop which include Vx and apply KVL. So all other voltages except Vx is not in that loop. For the loop from the starting you can see minus to plus Vx first and take it as plus Vx. Then comes plus to minus 6 volt take it as minus 6. Next is minus to plus 6 take it as 6 volt. Next is the voltage across 4 ohm resistor and we know that it is 12 volt. That is plus to minus 12 take it as minus 12 and minus 6 and plus 6 will be cancelled and Vx value will come out as 12 volt. If we are asked to find the value of I marked here, we need to take KCL at this node. One branch current is 3 ampere we know. 
If we know the branch current through this branch, we can find out I. We calculate the value of Vx as 12 volt and the 12 volt appears across 2 ohm and 12 divided by 2 that is equal to 6 ampere current will be flowing through this branch. So at the node 6 ampere and 3 ampere are leaving current so a 9 ampere current should be the entering current so I is equal to 9 ampere. So in the next question we are asked to find the value of Vx. So Vx is the voltage at this point with respect to air reference ground so we can mark the ground here. So the voltage between this point and ground is Vx. First mark the non current sources and voltages in the circuit. We can You can see 2 ampere flowing through this branch and similarly 1 ampere is flowing through this branch. Consider this node 2 ampere and 1 ampere are leaving current so a 3 ampere should be the entering current at this node. So 3 ampere will be flowing through this branch that is through 1 ohm. 3 ampere through 1 ohm gives 3 volt voltage drop across this resistor. Consider the other node and a 1 ampere is entering and 3 ampere is leaving. So there should be a 2 ampere current through this branch. Or we can write KCL if you are having difficulty. That is take this current as I. So for this node 3 ampere is leaving, 1 ampere is entering and I is also entering so we can write 3 minus 1 minus I is equal to 0 then we will get I is equal to 2 ampere. A 2 ampere through 1 ohm resistor will result in 2 volt voltage drop across this resistor. We are asked to find the Vx value for that consider loop like this and take KVL in this loop only the unknown voltage is Vx. So first we can see plus to minus 2 volt then plus to minus 3 volt and next is plus to minus Vx. So we can write the KVL as minus 2 volt minus 3 volt minus Vx is equal to 0 and Vx is equal to minus 5 volt. So that is the value of Vx.